Girl, it's your queen, Tisha Rozelle. I'm finally here. Like, this is my first ever video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe. Come back and see your baby because you know I mean. I look all right, right? You know? Like, you know, I look all right. Today, I'm going to do a makeup look. Um, This is like, let me get a little closer. This is not like an everyday makeup look, but it's a cut crease look. And I'm doing this specifically for beginners because I know, you know, Doing a cut crease took me a while to get, and, I'm, and I still haven't perfected it, but you know, each and every time you get better. So this is like a brown, little shimmer, little glitter eye, you feel me? I, I used Smashbox one palette to get this whole look, and you guys will see it here. But yes, thank you guys for watching, and be blessed. Remember, God loves you, and I love you too. All right, guys. Hey, what's up, y'all? I already came on with my eyebrows already done. Now I'm showing you where I'm using the Urban Decay. This is a primer for your eyes. When you're about to do an eyeshadow look, you want to always have a primer. It's going to make sure that your eyeshadow stays vibrant all night. And it's just going to make it look better. Um, what I do when I put the primer on, I just use a little brush. A little skinny brush. You know, a regular brush. Um, Wherever you want the eyeshadow to go is where you're going to put the primer. And just take your time when you're doing this. And here I'm just showing you where I put the eyeshadow primer, the same one I just used on the other eye. It doesn't have to be perfect as you see on my eyes. It's not perfect, but this is just going to be the base to where all your eyeshadow is going to be. All right, lovely. So next I'm using a um, translucent powder. So basically you just put this wherever you put the eyeshadow primer at, just a little bit. It's gonna make sure that when you're blending your eyeshadows, it, it blends flawlessly and it does not crease. That's all, just a little. And you don't need a high-end one. That one is Laura Mercier. Yeah, you can buy just a cheap drugstore one because this makeup look is for beginners. <laughs> All right, so this is a palette that I'm using. I believe it's the Morphe 365 Nature Palette, Second Nature Palette. Morphe is good for when you're first starting off because you get a lot of eyeshadows for a really reasonable price. And I'm showing you where I'm using that brown. Now, this brown is going to be the transition color. And all a transition color basically is, is it's going to make sure when you put the other eyeshadow colors that you're going to use on top, that they blend seamlessly. Like it's the first color that's going to touch your eye. So you want to make sure it's like a neutral brown because we're going for a brown eye. Um, when you use this color, just make sure that you're putting, you know, enough and you're blending it. Blending is very, very important. Take your time and blend. Take your time and blend. And we're going to do this to both eyes. Hey boo, hey girl, what's going on? Which part? Yeah. I miss you in the basement. But your brother was a good substitute for you. up so just know that i'm still blending and in real time it's been about five or six minutes but you know blending is very very important you want your eyeshadow to be on fleek you don't want it looking tread <laughs> Okay, now we're using the second color. It's like a little darker brown. I'm going to use the same brush because this makeup look is for beginners. And I want you guys to see that you don't need a thousand brushes to complete a look. So this is the same brush that we put on the first color with. And just keep on adding the brown until you get it to how you want it. Um, I was going for a darker brown look, so I kept on adding the brown because I wanted more brown than orange. So basically do what you did with the first eyeshadow. You know, take a little bit, blend it in, blend it in really, really good, and keep on adding until, you know, you get it to how you want it to look. And if you love me, love me, but you never let me go. Thank you. 
all right this time i'm using a different brush um this is a sigma brush i'm going to put it on the screen it's just a regular fluffy blending brush um so this time i'm using a darker brown this will be the last color we use before we cut our crease so all you're going to do is add it on top of the last color you just added and just keep on blending and sometimes what i do is i'll take the previous makeup brush i used for the other color and blend it so i'll go back and forth between the two colors just making sure that it's very you know like flawless and just you know blending together It's time to cut this crease, girl, with y'all all I've been waiting for. Okay, so I'm using my concealer to cut my crease. You can use concealer, foundation, whatever it is your same shade or a little bit lighter. So we're going to use a concealer, put it on either the back of your hand. That's what I do. It makes it easier. And I put it on the brush. Now, I'm putting it on my lid. Notice I said my lid and not my crease. A little trick that I learned from a makeup artist is to see where you can cut your crease. Put a little bit on your lid and look up. Up. and once you look up it will create a little line where you need to cut your crease at notice on here i'm taking my time with this part because this part is very, very crucial that's why i'm looking up like that y'all because i'm trying to find a line i ain't crazy i ain't crazy but anyway um taking your time with this is very, very crucial because wherever you put that light color at is where it's going to cut the crease and you want it to be you know a precise line it's not going to be perfect mine is definitely not perfect but just take your time with this get this line as precise as possible like i said before guys it's not going to be perfect don't be too hard on yourself but just you know with time you'll get better you know and just try to like eye it out keep on looking back and forth between both of your eyes because you want them to be almost the same you don't want one eye to be hiding the other sis now once again here i go with the translucent powder i'm gonna just put it on top of where i put the um, concealer at so i can put the eyeshadow on and it won't lump or crease now this brown color, this sparkly shimmer brown color, is the last color we're going to use today. This is the lid color, guys. And all you're going to do is pick up a little bit at a time and press it onto your lid. You know what I'm saying? Depending on how, how you're liking is me, I'm dramatic, so I need a lot of shimmer. So I'm going to take my time and I'm going to press it onto the lid. Um, Try to make sure you don't get it in the crease, but what I do is like towards the outer part of my eye, I will um keep on poking it where the lid and the cut crease um part meet so i can you know just make the line as precise as possible and that's what i'm doing right now we're almost done y'all <laughs> My fault, y'all. I had a little Tisha moment. That's my jam, though. Like this video if y'all like that song. She snap. You did your thing, girl. All right, so right here, all I'm doing is adding some more of that glitter color to both eyes because I want to make sure both eyes match each other as much as possible. And you got to have enough sparkle, girl. You got to sparkle. So that's all I'm doing right here. <laughs> um an oil primer from smashbox i have very dry skin so this oil primer it gets in my skin and it moisturizes my skin all day long i'm just using three drops one on each cheek and one on the forehead
all right foundation now this is the smashbox photo finish foundation like a lot of people use it who have dry skin aka me and i think it's in the color 315 so you know you just dot your um foundation all around your skin how much foundation you want depends and you just you know blend with the beauty blender now please make sure that you damp your beauty blender because it just makes the makeup you know like apply much easier and flawless favorite concealers is the nars radiant and creamy concealer um you're just gonna put that under your eyes on the top of your forehead on the bridge of your nose on the top of your lip and on your chin um you want to make sure your concealer is i think like a shade or two lighter than your um foundation they said you make sure your beauty blender is damp because you know it just makes everything easier and just keep on blending until you know you can't see any white harsh lines because we don't want that sis we don't want that translucent powder that we used earlier the laura mercier don't use a lot especially if you have dry skin i use a little bit or i try to anyway i put it everywhere that i put the concealer and one more place i add it is by my um my smile lines because i have really deep smile lines that runs in my family so if you have smile lines like me and you don't want your makeup to crease a tip is to put that setting powder under the foundation and a little bit over the foundation here i am wiping all of that off you want to wipe it all off do not leave any on or you will have flashback laura mercier is actually good about not having any flashback all right here i'm going to show you the contour i use this contour palette by Too faced it's really really good and it lasts me years i need to buy a new one but you're going to contour above your jawline under your jawline and on your temples because after you use the foundation and the concealer, you need to add a little bit of color back to your face. So please do not skip contouring. In the beginning, I didn't like the contour, but now I'm like, I need it. So just, you know, contour lightly if you're not a big contour fan, but make sure you add some contour to your face because it adds back the color. out really really well because you don't want any harsh lines and trust me you can tell i've done it before so make sure you blend out this contour very well we almost done girl so this is the cover effects compact powder basically you want to set all that work that you just did so we're going to put this powder over the whole face hey hey shoulder 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 y'all see that shoulder now <laughs> What else? 
sis. Ooh, sturdy. Hey, that shoulder again. Ratchet come out, you feel me? It all just come out. All right, guys, right here I'm using the Mario Badescu. Um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but I'm trying setting spray, and I also use this too when I'm not using makeup because it has like rose water and good stuff for your skin. Um, and right here I'm showing you that I'm using the Anastasia Glow Palette. You know, since you gotta get the highlight, you need that highlight, sis. You need it. And I'm using. Yes, sis. Well, wait for it. Wait for. Oh, y'all see that highlighter? That's a good Anastasia. You know what I'm saying, girl. And we're going to highlight our cheeks, our the bridge of our nose, our foreheads, and wherever else you want to put the highlight at. Because since you can never have enough or too much highlighter, you know. Don't get what you said, I mean, I'm a bite your feelings out. I just stuck with a lip gloss. You can do a lipstick for this look. Um, and this lip gloss is really good. It's very moisturizing. I forgot what shade it is, but it's from Bare Minerals. And if you love me, love me, but you never let me go. And I'm going to put my eyelashes on off camera because it's just too difficult. If you guys want me to do a video on how to put on eyelashes, comment below and let me know. I forgot to do an outro to this video, but thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe.